let's try implementing the add1 function for church numerals. So add1 is supposed to take a number n and it's supposed to return a number n plus 1. Now for a programmer using numbers that are represented as church numbers, they're not supposed to think about the representation, just like you don't think about the bit patterns for numbers when you're using them in C. But when we're implementing the primitive operations like add1, that is when we do pay attention to the encoding and take advantage of the encoding. In particular, since add1 is supposed to return a number, we know that it needs to return a function that takes an f and an x and then does something with that f and x. We further rely on the encoding because what do we need to do with f and x? We need to apply f to x n plus 1 times. And we don't know what n was, but it was given here. We do know, since we're talking about that particular church encoding, that if we apply n to f and x, that will already apply f to x n times. Add 1 is supposed to return a function that applies f n plus 1 times. We've already done it n times, so we can just do it one more time. And now we have a function that calls f on x n plus 1 times. We can confirm that this works. We can try it out to make sure um, by trying some examples, like add 1 of 0. So if we call add 1 of 0, 0 goes in for n here. And so we get lambda f, lambda x, f of 0 f x, just like I've written here. Uh, and at this point, we just have a function. And normally, when you're interpreting things, you would be done. But we can do what an optimizing compiler does and go inside and simplify the inside of this function to see if it ends up being the same as a 1. So we can expand out the abbreviation 0 here, as shown in the box. And then you can see that f is going to go in for f, and x is going to go in for x for the body x. So we'll just get an x here as the argument of this call to f. And now we can step back and see that we have lambda f, lambda x, f applied to x. That's exactly the encoding for 1. So we can see that add 1 of 0 is completely equivalent to 1, just like you want add 1 to behave. You could try plugging another numbers here, like 3 or 4, and making sure that the result is 4 or 5.